Hello and welcome to the Prankster Files. Number one, hopefully in a lot of breakouts. Um, this specific one is focusing on fourth grade math, uh, specifically fractions and decimals. And I have to make a checklist of things to set up my classroom because I typically um, do this in multiple classes and sometimes back to back, so I want to be as efficient as possible. The first thing on the list is to take iPads out of the classroom and hide them somewhere. The prankster has struck and she has stolen many of the iPads in the classroom and um, that's intense and it's I will tell you I've done it this a couple times and it's stressful for the kids so be ready to anyway so you hide the, the iPads outside the classroom so they don't happen to find them without having to break out um, I do leave between five to seven because I will need a few iPads to solve some of the clues the next thing is you write on the prankster note where the iPads are located it says once your iPads go ask so-and-so, and that's where they'll be found. You will need a lock hasp and four different locks, the directional lock, the uh, word lock, the key lock, and a four-digit code lock. Um, one of the first clues that they usually solve is this one, and it's decimal frames. So this is three tenths and seventy-nine hundredths. So three, seven, nine are the digits that you need to unlock the lock pencil box. And when you do, inside you will find a flashlight. UV flashlight, as well as, I went ahead and laminated this because I'm using it multiple times. It's a decimal conversion worksheet, and I gave them an Expo marker. Um, on this sheet, they just have to write 91 hundredths is equal to 91 hundredths as a decimal. And then down here are specific decimals that they'll find up here. If they flash the flashlight on it, they will see specific arrows, and that will tell them the um, combination to the directional so they'll knock one out of it pretty quickly. Um, something else they'll find in the lock pencil box is a decoder. And the first time I did this, it took the kids a while to figure out what this was used for because I had never seen it. This is really cheap on Amazon and so cool. So I went ahead and gave them a sheet that says, read all the clues carefully to figure out the code. But this at least gives them a hint to look for things that are like this. And they will find um, there are four problems and um, there are four hints to help them figure out what digits from the problems to use for the four digit combination lock. I use the Hide and Seek app. It's an iPhone app um, so to make these clues and I absolutely love it. The kids loved it too. It was so cool to see them do that. So that's two locks down. Um, another clue that's just hidden, that's just hung up somewhere is the Nearpod clue. So um, I have shared in my folder in the drive um, the Nearpod quiz that I use. You can change it however you want to, but you will need to use your own Nearpod account and then assign that quiz or that assignment as homework, and that's the code that you put on here. Um, and I tell my kids, well, within the assignment it says, hey, check with your teacher when you're done doing the Nearpod quiz to see what happens next. If they are successful and they get their Nearpod quiz um, completed at 100% accuracy, I will give them this guy, and it's just a decimal poem, but if they look closely, they will see S, T, U, D, and Y are circled in invisible ink, which will help them unlock the word lock. Now, the great thing about Nearpod is if they get like a 71%, they can go back and re-enter the quiz, but it will keep their scores, so they can just go back and change their answers, and I'll, at that point, usually buddy, buddy them up so they can figure things out together. Um, the last clue is there are 14 problems and you can decide if you want to spread them out or have them all together. This goes with it. So this is kind of an answer tracker. Each problem has multiple answers and um, the correct words will fall on this sheet and say something like use the Google Translate app to hover over the strange markings on this page. And right now it just looks like a border. But if you look closely, this is actually written in Russian. And when you use the app, it'll say the key is hidden on the left side of the iPad um, iPad cart. In some classrooms that don't have cart, I'll, carts, I'll change it to the left of the teacher's desk or whatever, something that's magnetic. Um, I had one kiddo who figured out, because at the bottom I have Russian to English, he figured out to use Google Translate and he started to try to type in the Russian characters, which I thought was actually kind of cool. Um, so that will tell you where the key is located. And I love this magnetic key case. It's just for fun, but you can also just tape it if you don't have this. And you will unlock the last lock, and the kids will get their iPads back. Um, I hope you enjoy this breakout, and good luck.